Chicago, WLS, the NCAA tournament first round tipped off Friday with both the University of Illinois fighting Illini and the Loyola Ramblers in action. The Illini lived up to their top seed ranking as they beat 16 seed Drexel 78-49 Friday. The Ramblers also won their first round game 71-60 against Georgia Tech. Now, both teams will face off in the second round of the tournament Sunday. Orange and blue is everywhere at Joe's on Weed. It is one of the University of Illinois Alumni Club's watch party locations, and Illini Pride is on full display. March Madness is underway and for Illini fans, it's been a while since their team came into the tournament with this much hype and as a number one seed. The tables are separated for social distancing, and masks are required, said Chicago Illini Club president Kurt Henson. For basketball fans who had to miss out last year when the tournament was cancelled, this is a big step closer to normalcy. Check this out, Giant March Madness Bracket on in Hotel is world's largest at the Orange and Brew in Downers Grove, the suburban Illini crowd is celebrating the big first round win and looking forward to moving on. The timing of the strong season for the Illini is good for business for owner Eric Schmidt, who graduated from Illinois in the 90s and has suffered through many ups and downs with his school's teams. Illini fans are now looking forward to the possibility of playing Loyola in the next round, Schmidt said. NCAA tournament predictions from ABC7 Eyewitness Morning News The Illini went 23-6 in the regular season and won the Big Ten tournament. They are led by guard A.O. Dosunmu of Morgan Park High School. It is the Ramblers' first NCAA tournament appearance since 2018 when they made a surprise run to the Final Four. They went 24-4 on their way to first place in the Missouri Valley Conference. They are led by seniors Cameron Crutwig and Lucas Williamson, who were both a part of Loyola's 2018 run. Loyola senior Lucas Williamson's family drove to Indianapolis Friday morning to watch the Ramblers' first-round game. Williamson was a freshman the last time Loyola went to the tournament and went all the way to the Final Four. In honor of social distancing, they brought a cutout to the game. This weekend is huge, said Luca's mom, Louisa Williamson. I'm so excited, I couldn't miss this. I had to come, added his sister, Lauren Williamson. The 101-year-old team chaplain, Sister Jean, is fully vaccinated and attending her first game of the year in person. She posted her bracket Thursday night and sent out a community message. Continue to cheer loudly, have a virtual watch party, and help bring us all together, she said. We need each other to succeed. The bracket she filled out has the Ramblers beating Illinois in the second round and going all the way to the Elite Eight. Now that we have this special event, during a different time, make the most of it and if together, virtually enjoy every bit of it, she said.